All right, so I've got all of this underbody coating here that needs to go. Uh, it's old. Um, it flakes off. This, and all of this in here actually came off with just an air gun. So I don't need that happening when I apply new underbody coating. Um, we want to have a good surface when it's to last forever. So uh, all this needs to come off, and you're probably watching this because maybe you do too. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the ways that, that I found in one way in particular that when I researched the forums, best way to take off underbody coating, the, the main way was to use just a scraper and a uh, heat gun. So you heat it all up and when it gets nice and mushy and whatever, hot, just go ahead and try and scrape it off of there. So I'm going to show you that way first. And then I'm going to show you the second way, which um, you might like a little better. All right, so I've just got a regular uh, Ryobi, obviously, heat gun here. Uh, puts out quite a bit of heat. And then just a regular old um, metal scraper. So, uh, sorry if, if you hear the dogs rustling around in the background. But, um, so let's just go ahead and one of the hardest things to do with this is to get started really so I'm just gonna pick this area here and get it warmed up and then try and uh, scrape some uh, underbody coating off Alright, so that gives you a general idea of how this method is going to go. Um, this is kind of a curve, just a little bit of a curved surface, so that flat blade was kind of hard on there. But I mean for your flat, really flat surfaces, it, it, it'll work pretty good. Uh, but anytime you need to go around these curves and up in these areas, I mean you're going to be spending a lot of time trying to get that off. And um, There's what the floor looked like. Um, and it's just going to take some time. Both of these methods are going to take, I mean, quite a bit of time. So, uh, and then you've got a hot surface around all here. Uh, be careful with. And of, I did see that some people used um, like propane torches just with a flame into it. That probably works a little bit faster with getting it heated up. But I mean, then you got uh, possible uh, fire issues. Uh, if you're not careful so that is the one method now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the other one all right so here for the other method I've got a snap-on basically air scraper um, I mean that's basically what it does uh, it's got different size ends on here so you could, I could attach a bigger scraper or I could go down to a smaller one uh, but this this size seems to work the best so um, you can pick these up at Harbor Freight I believe you just need to find one that isn't the air uh, chisel because I mean you don't want to be chiseling this off this kind of basically just vibrates and kind of moves along so should be able to find something like this at Harbor Freight <laughs>
just like that, look how much, look how much of a difference this is. I mean, this is still pretty messy over here, and I mean, this is just some nice, nice straight clean lines, basically. Um, now, as far as going around curves and up around everything, um, of course, it's not going to be the greatest. However, um, I mean, just look at the time difference between that. It's not going to be an easy job. This is going to take a while, so just be prepared for that. Now, um, it's still got some underbody coating on there, which is not going to be easy to come off. So I'm going to show you how I get that off. All right, and in order to get uh, all of this little underbody coating that's left here, I'm just going to do it on this small area. But I mean, if you go over this whole whole thing, you're kind of going to have that everywhere. Um, just use a uh, wire wheel. Uh, I mean, you want one with a little bit of oomph, not just one with the little circular disc wires on a end of a screwdriver. Uh, that may work, but it might take a little bit more time. So if you got a heavy duty one, uh, just go ahead and. Well, it would help if I plugged it in. All right, here we go. All right, so there you can see that, I mean, that's just basically clean, fresh metal. Um, wire wheel takes it off well. It kind of kind of squirrels it around when you hit it. I mean, I wouldn't have all this when I was using the wire wheel on here, but it does kind of squirrel it around uh, a little bit, but it just takes a few more passes to, to get it off of there. Um, I want to show you the kind of mess that this leaves. So, I mean, this this little area was with the uh, the heat gun, but I mean, you're gonna have it pretty much everywhere uh, with the air scraper since it is uh, flinging little chunks of it everywhere. So, um, those are the two methods. You can really use either. You can use both. Um, I like the air chisel method; it works a lot quicker. Uh, so, let's go ahead and knock all this off. recommend that you try and do this on a cold day um, the colder it is the, the more brittle and uh, the more this stuff seems to break up so uh, doing it in the middle of summer on a hot day it may not work this easy right now it's about 40 degrees out uh, so that kind of gives you an idea <laughs>
Okay, so here it is. It's pretty well clean now. Um, got a few more areas like up in here I need to do still. But I wanted to show you that uh, if I move the camera closer, you can see there's still residue in some places. I mean, you can kind of see that. Missed the spot there. And just kind of some left over. Uh, what I use is uh, just a, a wire wheel and you can just go ahead and knock this right off. So. Alright, so it doesn't look much better. It kind of looks like it swirled it around a little bit. But if you just take some regular old uh, goo gone and you just wipe it down, it all starts, it starts to come off. All of that, uh, that gunk that was spread around starts to come off. So you can see how clean that is now. Just after I took the wire wheel to it and just sprayed some goo gone on it. So you can see pretty clean in there. Um, just got a little bit to do right there and uh, take the wire wheel up up in these areas but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, I hope it saves you some time and you're able to uh, pick up on this technique and hopefully clean your uh, inner fender wells and uh, have some fun because this is gonna take a while so yeah.